It is common to place a formula next to a query and then enjoy the benefits of Excel's automatic fill-down behavior, where the formula is automatically copied for new rows and removed for rows that no longer appear in the query. It is also common to use empty columns to make important information easier to see. While there are very few restrictions on what you can do inside of a query, you can run into trouble when using blank columns to format the report outside of the query. You can see how the formula no longer fills down automatically. If you try to fill the formula down by double-clicking the fill handle, that will not work either. However, you can drag the fill handle to manually fill the formula down. Unfortunately, doing so has drawbacks of its own. Fortunately, there is a solution to this problem. As long as there are no gaps, Excel will consider a series of formulas to be adjacent. So we enter a very simple formula to return a blank. You will also need to clean up any broken formulas before refreshing again. Now when I enter a new job number, my percent formula fills down, as does the new formula that returns a blank. You can see one extra 0% formula result when the query returns only one row of data. That's because Excel queries always have at least two rows, regardless of how many rows of actual data exist. The good news is that the formula will continue to follow the query regardless of how many rows of data are actually returned.